Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up a Figma file and then export it into Quest to make a responsive React component. Right here we have a nice hero section and I want to make this a component in React. And you can see it's designed nicely, but there's a couple tricks that I want to set up to make this responsive and a couple of things I'm just going to point out and make it easier to work with Quest and make it a React component. So to start, this is a nice layout, but not responsive. So I can pull this, it kind of crops in and out. Uh, it doesn't really do anything. What I want to use is auto layout to set this up and make everything nice and responsive. And I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing I did here, first thing that I'm going to do is just start setting some of these things up. I'm going to put these two pieces of text together by selecting both of them. Just go to auto layout. Nothing changed except the frame. I'm going to rename this to text. And this is now an auto layout frame. It retained the padding between the two things. Same thing with these buttons. And by the way, these are MUI buttons that I copied and pasted from the MUI kit. Um, you can learn more about that in the MUI video that I just created. But basically just copy that and pasted that from the MUI kit and it's right here so that when it comes in the quest, it's a live MUI button. Uh, so again, I'm going to just group these together, go over to auto layout, set that up. And I'm going to just group the two of these things here. Again, hit auto layout. I'm going to call this left side and I'm just naming it so that it's easier to kind of see what these are later. Much easier for your developer to work with this later. I call this buttons. Now we have that. Now on this side, I just have an image. But what I actually want to do is make this responsive. So we don't want to just have like a fixed image. What I want to do is put this into a frame and then set the background to fill. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this a frame by frame selection. Now I'm actually just going to delete this image right now. now over here, I already have this. And what I'm going to do is drag that right into the fill of this new frame that I created. Now it looks the same. We're just going to expand this so you can see it better. Looks the same, right? But what I'm going to show you in the fill, when I click here, it's set to fill. So by in, for instance, and when I drag it, it always fills that container. And that's great. So that's going to be a background image when we bring it into React. So I'm going to keep that there. I'm going to actually make it auto layout. I'm also going to just set this to uh, fixed width and fixed height. Now in the hero section, I'm also going to make this auto layout. Now this did a couple of things. It shifted things around just a little bit. I want to make sure that I have some padding in here. So now this moved over to the left. So what I'm going to do is just change this, change the setting of the left. 20 pixels. You can also now just kind of drag this in the new Figma here. New depending on when you're watching this video. So now that looks good. And I have this set to hug. I'm going to just change it to fixed. But basically what we want to do is make sure that all these things are also filling the container. So I'm going to say fill. And now that I've set that, I'm going to change this to fill. What we want to do, maybe I don't, maybe I don't want both fill. I just want to set this to fixed. So now this is going to fill and this is going to be fixed. So by selecting the hero, the top level, now you can say it's nice and responsive. The image is actually changing and it's filling the container the way it should be. So that looks great. And the last thing we want to do is just make sure that we select the top go up to auto layout or sorry, go up to the create component, do that. Now it's a component. You need to make things components when you export them to quest. So that's the last step. Now we're creating a react component. So we want it to be a component in Figma. I'm going to go up to my plugin and now I'm just going to export this as the hero. This is the quest plugin. Quickly do that. And just hit view and quest. And there you go. Now this is a working React component.
this is not a screenshot. This is not a prototype. This is exactly how it should look in your product because this is running React in the middle here. So there you go. Now you could just start setting up props and bindings, start setting up your button clicks if you needed to. Um, yeah, and they'll go ahead and export the code or you can export your entire app. But that's as easy as that.